Hello, my name is Dana White. I'm on the board of GoTV. Uh, I am here with Mary Ellis. We are at the Bethany Arts Community, and Mary is having her first major retrospective as an artist. Um, you grew up in Croton. Yes. Right? And um, she, Mary is um, not just any artist, she is actually one of the most successful designers, graphic designers in the country. And she started out uh, in Greenwich Village doing textiles and then moved into souvenirs, right? right. Exactly. And so if you go to the Empire State Building, any of the airports, any High Line, any tourist place in the city, you're going to find Mary Ellis Designs. But let, tell, tell me a little bit about what you've been segueing into. So the, my graphics, which was the pop art that I designed for the souvenirs, was, um, my, I call it my day job, because that's how I made my living. And then about, um, I'd say about 15 years ago, I started to feel like I really need to get back to my painting. I found mm -hmm. my abstract mm -hmm. because what I was doing was not abstract. Right. So this show shows that evolution. It shows the pop art paintings and how I morphed into the abstract and got more and more confident to be able to just do the art that was from my heart. Tell us a little bit about your style because it's pretty energetic. So um, I'm very interested in line and form and transparencies. And you can see if we go through the show that at first, all my work was very, very flat, very similar to the pop art. And as I evolved, I've gotten more and more into layering and surprises and drawing and, and not using traditional brushes, using spatulas, using old knives, all kinds of things to get texture and line. And I have an incredible amount of energy and I want to get it out there. So that's it. Now, we know, I know that I happen to know that you um, like to listen to a certain kind of music. I love reggae music. Okay. I love reggae music, and I put it on, and it's been very energizing, and I'm also a drummer. I play uh, African drum. So it's kind of like all of that is what I'm trying to show you in my work, and that's coming through in my work. How did you end up having a show here at Bethany? So Bethany um, was started three years ago, and it's an art community. It's for music, art, dance, uh, literature, everything. And it was started as a way for artists to come together and collaborate. And three years ago, when I heard about it, I was like, oh my, and I saw the building, and I thought, this is never going to happen. This is like daunting. And here we are, it's three years later, and I had this extraordinary opportunity to have a show here. And it's beautifully lit, and it's, um, it's just, it's, it's an artist's dream to be able to have your work seen with good light and good space, and it's just mind-blowing. These are actually the original designs that I did maybe 25 years ago, and they're still selling strong. Um, they're like all over the city. I've sold them all over the world. People recognize them. What they don't know is that there's an artist behind the art, which is what this show is really about. <laughs> Now these are really, these are current. current. Yeah, these are current. current. So, uh, but this is a theme in here, right? What yes. do you call this? So I call this mind chatter. Um, I started meditating about four years ago. And while I was meditating, I became so aware of all the chatter in my head. And I just, it was endless. And I just had this feeling I had to put that down on canvas. I also realized that I'm not the only one going on. So I had, I just wanted to express it and that's what this whole series, this is just a small series, um, but it's, it's fairly current. It was 2017, 18. Didn't some of these hang in First Village Yeah, this is at First Village Coffee. That's where I first saw I had a show. I, I haven't seen this one before, Urban no. Isolation. Yeah. So this is about the internet? This or? is about um, what's happening to us. Mm. And how people, as much as they think they're connected because they have the internet now, I think they're more isolated than they've ever been. And this is what I, this is my commentary on that. It's all about how isolated people feel, and I think people are even more lonely than they ever were before. Even though everybody thinks they're so connected, but it's pretty superficial. This piece right here, this was probably the first breakthrough after the pop art. So um, you're still seeing 
line and you're still, still seeing flat color. Um, and I just started to get into some more depth, whereas the pop art is much flatter. And then this would, be, this would be the next transition, where I just started using all the energy and the movement. And um, so these are kind of like the beginning of me breaking out of the flat. Paint. So this is 2006. Right. You're transitioning. And then, yes. so are you a sculptor as well? No, these are chairs that I did. <laughs> this is just a fun thing. So now I'm starting to use more tones, more depth, more brush strokes. I'm starting to get much more, um, much deeper in the space. So this would be, this whole room would be the next transition after the pop art. And tell me about your, the colors that you use. Do you rather take one of particular grouping of color? Um, I love primary colors. It's like when I, when I go to start something, it's like the first thing I do is grab some big bright color. You know, I just, that's what I start with. Not with, it's, I'm just so attracted to brilliant color. I mean, and the miracle of color in nature. It's just, I can't explain it. How does your process work in that in that regard? When you look at something, how do you how do you do that? As far as a landscape, yeah. I mean, it's like, how about, does your vision work? So this is more about the landscape's traditional space. Okay. And you're talking about a horizon line and a background and a foreground. Mm -hmm. Very different from the flat work where you're, everything is frontal. Mm -hmm. So I started getting much more depth into mm -hmm. these. It was a whole different. So I call to me they're landscapes. Um, okay. And this one actually I call Fall in the Valley. This is the Hudson Valley to me. Okay. Yeah. You know, so these are these are more um, kind of imagery, whereas I don't usually use imagery. So this is a project I did, it's called One a Day. And I committed to a painting a day for a hundred days. This is not a hundred paintings here, but this is what this is part of that project. And I did it as a way to discipline myself and free myself. Um, and not, you know, when you, when you approach a canvas, you feel that the canvas is daunting. It's this big white space. And I didn't want, I wanted to free myself from that. I wanted to just do these little image, these little paintings that weren't so precious. Um, I actually never thought about hanging them or framing them. It just, they, at, at the end of the 100 days, I had this whole, this whole collection. And that's when I decided to, and I actually had a, sh a show, which was just this work. Of these I want to go with what I'm feeling, you know, well, and, I, and I don't, I never know where they're going, I never know what is going to happen, um, I see them all as adventures, you know, and sometimes I'll, I get to a certain point, it's very funny, I get to a certain point where I just feel like, this, hey, this is really working now, and then I get scared, really, <laughs> like, yeah, oh. because I'm going to come back, what if I screw it up, you know, so sometimes I really need to take a break, and that's why I work on maybe, um, I work on three or four canvases at a time. So you have to be careful to overwork something. Exactly. It's all about spontaneity and it's all about being in the moment. Yeah. And, and that's, that's really what well, I Well, I would say that you capture that sense of spontaneity. Yeah. And play, right? Yeah. Playfulness. Yes. Yes. This was an old painting from a long time ago and I didn't like it. And I took it and I started working on top of it and making layer and layer and layer. And after a while, like, you scratch into it, and all of a sudden, these little things happen that start to come through. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is a lot of fun. But so you achieve this depth through layers. I mean, yes. You have layers of, on top of exactly. You paint on top of all. But exactly. you can really see the strokes. You can see the spatula. Yep. You can really see yep. that. Hey! Oh, it's hey! Guess hey. who this is? Turn the camera on. Hey. Don't be jealous, ladies. Hey! <laughs> I walked through it today. The legendary. Yes. This is the thing. This <laughs> might be my favorite. Yes. Yeah, because the very next year, period, you know, I went through today. I love, I love this very much. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know, all of these, do you mind? I love it. No, yeah. I want to hear. Do you mind being on TV? No, not at all. <laughs> I want to hear. Yeah. I thought, I these, I, I thought these were uh, intriguing. You know, okay. a side of of you. Okay, you know, okay. They're really strong colors. Right? I am. You know, That's I, the gift. Yes, That's you really gift. are. And, and it's and it's not yours. Oh yeah, well, yeah. So there's, a lot of, there's a lot of spill in it, you know. And um, I, you know, these uh, small ones here like that, <laughs> I was wondering the ones that I would, could live with. Oh, tell me. I know. Uh, I always think that 
if somebody wants one of my paintings, if they got to change the whole world. Well, I don't know. This, this one, we're, this one has a kind of okay. uh, quiet energy yes. Yes. that could find its way, okay. like your personality in the world. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh, uh, what, which one is the chatter one? Oh, my chatter. Uh, did, you, did you read what I wrote? Um, no, I did. I wanted something about change or chance. I also like these. Okay, you know? so you like softer and lighter. No, no, not at all. But I like to ch judge a work by what it is, you know? Yeah. I started this and there was no intention of faces. Mm -hmm. it, was all, it was all about that energy like you were looking mm -hmm. at in the, other, in the other room. And all of a sudden these faces started happening. The only thing about this group, I like them very much. I like these better. Because I feel that mind chatter is not quite so pleasant as your, as your colors are. I, I, was, I was wondering what it means for you to be obsessive. Like this one, five times. You know? Yes. Five pushback, because I think there's still there's so much pleasure and beauty in your work. But I was wondering with mind chatter, though, in this time that we live in now, I don't know if you like me, but my mind is frightening. Okay, so this, this yeah. thing is called urban isolation. Yes. And this is all about how everybody's thinking that they're connecting and nobody's connecting. Yeah. And everybody's more lonely now than they've ever been. And yeah, that's, well, it, that's what this... Well, this has, a, this has a more brooding uh, yes. quality to it. Yep. But you were you were you're a discovery for me. Uh, you were for me. Well, but I great. discovered you for a long time. Well, no, no, but I didn't really know you as, the, as a painter. And I was very touched with what you said about going back to painting. Yes. With seriousness and discipline mm -hmm. and so on. But thank you, and I'm glad I got a chance to see you before. Yeah. Especially yeah. at your openings tonight. Tonight, and I'm going to, you're going to see me. Okay. Okay. I'm going to see you. We're going right. to see each other. Right. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you for the work. Thank you. Thank you. It's great. <laughs> that was the legendary Bill T. Jones, a uh, dancer and choreographer. His company uh, has a residency here, I believe, yes. at and this he, time, and it had one last year, too. And, and he, he is amazing. And he got the Kennedy Center Award. He is, yes, um, he's major. he is an icon, he's major. he's major. And if you have a chance to come and, and see any of his dance company's events yes. that go on here, we highly recommend He's going to be here for a month, and he's, his whole troupe is here, and they're, they're putting together a program. And they're rehearsing, they're putting together a project. So, I mean, that's the kind of place Bethany is, That's right? what's so great about Bethany. It's a community, so yes. you just saw it in action. Yes. Right? Yes, the dancer. Yes. Yes.